might have thought, with considerable evidence on your side if you did, that American Idol had already peaked. Last season's ratings were down from the year before, and that Sanjaya kid nearly hijacked the entire show. But this morning in Philadelphia, there was another Idol audition. And in our number one story in the countdown, the wannabes numbered 17,000. 17,000! Which might make it the largest audition in Idol history. And happily, Countdown's very own American Idol princess was there. She's also, of course, the midday host of New York's classic rock station Q1043. And tonight, she graduates from princess to American Idol princess and correspondent. Woohoo! Maria Molito. Good evening, my friend. <laughs> Good evening. I love that. I love that. So, Keith, we were at the Wachovia Center in Philadelphia. Now, Ryan Seacrest came in through an underground tunnel. Okay, he comes in, he speaks to the crowd, he leaves through an underground tunnel. Of course, nobody told us, so we didn't know about it. But we did see this guy who was the next best thing to Ryan Seacrest. And he was actually a local reporter, and he was covering the auditions. And then he told us that he was also auditioning. So he was the next best thing to Ryan Seacrest that we had. You want to sing something with us? Live it for you, my dear. It's like living in a world. My arms never, never sweet again. How early did you get here? Um, what time was it? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday night. So many times. And Jesus, I'm loving angels instead. The loneliest smile. We smile. Whoa! It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Stiff. Wow! It's very stiff. Too sexy for my hair. <laughs> Too sexy for my hair. You quickly change your ways. There's no way I can ever go. The summer wind came blowing in. There ain't a no peace, no peace I find. They said that, that the music was good, but. I guess I'm just too pretty. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Did they at least give you a little extra time? Did you have crutches? No, they didn't give me any time. I'm going to be back next year. Remember my face. Where are you, Christmas? People are talking. Life is a big buffet, my friend. We all had voices. We all could sing, and they didn't, I don't know what they were looking for. My daughter just has a pencil in her bathroom, and that's the way she sings. Hi, hey, DJ. Hi. Congratulations. You're a winner, right? Yes, I am. And how old are you? 17. And I just kept thinking about my mom at the stands and just how she came down here with me. My mom hadn't flown in 10 years, and she took this flight with me. And I just was thinking, like, how proud she is of me, and I couldn't let her down. And so I had to just... Keep it together. <laughs> As I'm it. losing it right now, but I kept it together when it mattered. So now all these people are going to come back. Uh, and they get to audition again for the judges. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they come back for a third time. And that's when they will be, um, and I have to do a cheat, sh cheat sheet because I am a correspondent. Miami, Atlanta, Charleston, Dallas, Omaha, San Diego, and again with Philadelphia. That they'll be in front of Ryan and, uh, not Ryan, Paula and Simon and Randy. So, and then from that's what we'll see on TV in January. So did, did you, did you, did you, did you meet the winner? Today, did you meet the eventual? You're going to go out on the limb and say, "I know the winner right now, just based on those 17,000 people I interviewed in not, Philadelphia." No, I don't think so. You don't think you saw it, or you just don't remember? No. Well, there were, you know, 17,000 people, all-time record. Uh, we might have seen the winner, but I don't think so. You know, it was kind of weird. People were, they, they were good singers, but a lot of the females did that Whitney Houston thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a lot of the guys, they were sounding okay, and then they did that. Oh, that Michael Jackson does. So that totally was like, you know, I wish it was the gong show that I had a gong with me. All right, so they kept Ryan Seacrest away from you, which is a really, for the yeah, first time, like a first good decision on Fox's part <laughs> in like 32 years. Did you see anybody else worthy of mention? Any other name? Any bold faced name? Sure, I saw Steve Sharippa, you know, Bobby okay. Bacala from The Sopranos. And your show, too. My buddy. Yeah. And then we were fighting over somebody who came, who was, <laughs> who was actually a loser. A person on crutches. We were fighting. You see, the guy with the cell phone's in the way. But yeah, what? We were fighting over this person. Well, what was he doing there? Is, he, is the microphone connected to anything, or is he just doesn't have anything yeah, to do yeah. now that well, Sopranos we were fighting because I wanted her, and I'm like, she's with me. He's like, no, I want her. And he's bigger than I am, so I was afraid, you know, he might beat me up. So I was like, fine, you take her. But look at this. We were fighting over a girl on crutches. I mean, the auditions make you go crazy. And 17,000 people, is that one at a time? or? <laughs> no, they go, actually, they're in the, in, in the center, rather, not the stadium, in the yeah. center. There are 14 booths, and they go four at a time, 
and the people tell me they get like 30 seconds at most if they get more like a second song then it usually means that they're they get to go to the next level but it's four people yeah. and it's like one two three four and you're out and there are two judges so they see 56 people at a time wow so it's crazy and, and you got to guy, uh, keep the navy guy's hat did you yeah no i didn't get to keep it okay. Countdowns. It, it looked pretty goofy, right? It sure did. <laughs> Countdowns American Idol princess and correspondent Maria Molito braving the crazies for us. And another season begins. Many I thanks. I love it. Thank you very much. That's Countdown for this, the 1,580th day since the Declaration of Mission Accomplished in Iraq. I'm Keith Olderman. Good night and good luck. Our coverage continues now with MSNBC Live with Dan Abrams, who's right over, right over here. Good evening, Dan. Good evening, Keith. Coming up, CNN's six-hour series, God's Warriors. They say it was...